Hey guys, so yeah, I think if you look at the order of the list here, it's two, it goes two, three, four. And you remember when we did this with the, the tool in Pro, we we first did it with two, three, four, and then we reversed it and we did it four, three, two. Or, yeah, four, three, two. Um, right, four, three, two. Yeah, so what we need to do, we just have to reverse this list. I think that'll work better. So in the ArcPy composite bands, when we give it this band, just say dot reverse. And that should feed it, instead of feeding the tool 234, it should do uh, 432. And I think that's good. Um, let's also, I want to basically add in a little check that we can say um, we want to run it like how many times we want to run it so right now we're just canceling it when we are tired of it running <laughs> but let's let's say like we want it to um, run five times so just make a variable called how many times to run and set it equal to five for example and then just have a make a counting variable say counter equals zero and we're just gonna say every time arcpy composite bands runs we're just gonna increment the counter plus equals one and then we're going to say if counter is equal to uh, not five is equal to how many times to run we just want to exit which means kill the program basically so if counter so actually let's put this check not here but we're gonna put it uh, here actually I'm just going to say break. That just means break out of the for loop. So then, since there's nothing else, it'll just finish the program. But let's just say print finished processing dot format uh, finished processing dot format um, how many times to run. So finished processing five landsets. Um, so here we have one more thing we need to do to get this to work correctly. So if if we ran it as is, it would just it would overwrite uh, this file because we have it going to this location, um, and every time it loops through, it's going to try to overwrite that. So we need to just put in some sort. We need to make this unique somehow. So I'm just going to use the um, the value of the counter variable. So say dot format and just put counter in there. So first time it runs through counter is going to be zero. So this is going to say Landsat composite underscore zero dot tiff. Then it's going to increment counter by one. Going to loop through again. This is going to be equal to one, two, three, four, five, and you get the idea. Uh, and it should run five times. I think. <laughs> so let's give that, let's give that a whirl. Just gonna delete all this stuff. Might not let me because I have it open in Pro. Okay. So let's just delete all this. And let's run it. I think this will work. All right, first one downloaded, downloading the second one. So yeah, we're checking a few things here. We want to check to make sure the bands get ordered correctly. Then we, want, we also want to check to make sure this runs.
five times and then stops. Good so far. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, hold on. What did I not like about that? It's probably the dot reverse. Probably did something wrong with that. Input raster's value is required. We have a value there. Let me just see, Python list, reverse, maybe I used it wrong. Hmm. Yeah, that should work. Returns a reversed iterator object. I feel like it doesn't like that in here. Maybe I need to say reversed list equals lands.bands dot reverse and then use the reversed list in here. Okay, let's try that. I'll pause this video because so, this takes a, a little bit. Hey guys, so yeah, aired out again. And if you see here, reverse list equals Landsat. Um, you can see here, I printed running composite bands with these values, and it's giving me a none, which I don't understand why it's giving me none. So I need to figure that out. That's why this tool's not working. Uh, so I'm going to pause the video and just figure that out. Alright guys, I was just using Python wrong. A quick Google search. So list.reverse reverses the list in place. It doesn't return the reverse list. For that, use reversed function. Okay, so we just need to say reversed and then pass it the the list. Alright, that's silly. That's, uh, that's ridiculous. Okay. So let's say reverse... Um, wasn't it reversed? Reversed, reversed, okay. Reversed, uh, Landsat bands. Let's get rid of that. And now we should just be able to say reversed Landsat bands. All right. I'm going to pause it and uh, actually I'll start it and then I'll pause it, let it download and I'll, I'll unpause it uh, as it's about to run this. Alright guys, it should be running soon. It's downloading the third image. Oh, got another error here. Oh, we did this reverse thing wrong again. Alright, <laughs> hold on. Sorry, I know this video is getting long. Let me just figure this out. Alright guys, I finally figured it out. We had to put list in front of reverse. So this, to me, this is kind of like a convoluted way of reversing a list. And there might be a, a smarter way to do it, but that's just what I, I got working. So I just found that page on the internet. But it seems like it's working. So it looped through once and made one Landsat composite. So we should see it uh, attempt to do it again and make Landsat composite uh, dash underscore one. 
Um, and I did, I checked that this band order looks correct. So that looks more natural. So it's ordering it um, uh, the correct way now. So that's good. And you can also, if we look at the list, you see how it's listing four first, then three, and then two. So sweet. This is looking good. Um, let's just, so it finished two already and now it's working. Oh no, now it just finished two. Now it's working on the third. All right, I'm just gonna let this run. I'll pause the video and I just wanna make sure that it finishes five and then stops and calls it a day. So uh, let me just pause it and then I'll, I'll pick it up in a few few minutes. All right guys, so here we are like five minutes later. It looks like it finished, finished processing five Landsats. And you can see in here we have uh, one, two, three, four, five separate TIFFs, and we have all of these, you know, the downloaded bands. Um, so let's just bring them into Pro and take a look. Make sure everything checks out. So I'm dragging in the zero TIFF. Now this is the one TIFF. This is the two. Wait a second. That color looks weird to me. Hmm. I don't think that color looks right. Hmm. It might just be the ones we downloaded just happen to look weird, but this one looks right. Composite four. Now the third one. Yeah, these are right. I think some of the. I mean, we we probably should put more logic to check all these, but. Uh, yeah, they look. I mean, it's working. Sweet. All right. Uh, I think that's where I'll, I'll leave off these videos. Um, hopefully, that was helpful to you guys. I think. Um, this can definitely be cleaned up a little bit and hardened with more logic, but I just wanted to show you how we could get uh, something working pretty quickly. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.